Hi, and thank you so much for joining me for this first episode of A Hit of Hypnosis. Now, I'm not going to lie, this is not going to be a smooth process. I might repeat myself, I might trip over words, but I'm working on the basis that done is better than perfect. And today's show is going to be about confidence. And the reason for that is because I've wanted to do a podcast for so long, months if not years. And I just felt like I didn't have the confidence. And it's not the confidence of sitting here and doing it. It's the confidence of being able to deal with the comments and the feedback once it's out there in the public domain. This is why I wanted to speak about confidence today. I'm also on a coaching course at the minute with my mentor. We're doing a three-day challenge at the moment to record and upload a video, just a short video within the group that we're in. It just seems to be that Putting a camera or a microphone in front of us can make us seize up or forget what to say or struggle or trip over our words. But you know what? That is fine. The fear that we have is once it's out there and what people are going to say, how are we going to look? The thoughts that I've had about starting a podcast and starting a YouTube channel, this is how ridiculous it is. I need to grow my hair first. I need to have my hair cut first. I need to have my roots done first. I need a better camera, I need some lighting, I need a microphone, I can't do it now because the, it's too windy outside, I can't do it now because the cat might come in, the amount of excuses that I've made not to do this podcast, and it's just, they're just unreal, and this is the thing, we tell ourselves all the negative things, people are going to say this about me, people are going to say that about me, but what if people say, wow that's great, what if people say, you look great. That enables us then to take that next step, to do show two, or to do gig two, or to do whatever it is that we're really wanting to do, to make those steps towards reaching our goals. I recently sent a survey out to people who are suffering from long-term anxiety. And I said, if I had a magic wand and your anxiety was gone, what would it look like? How would you be? How would you feel? Almost every respondent said that they'd have more confidence. And yet confidence is so subjective. It's a nominalization. It means something different to each and every one of us. People think that I'm confident. And of course, I'm confident when I've done something many times. We all are. If you think about your first day at work and how nervous you were because you didn't know anybody, you thought people would think that you're stupid because you don't know where everything is. And then two weeks later, you're part of the team. You're going out for drinks together. Because you've done it every day for two weeks. You've done that job. You've been in that environment. And this is what we need to focus on. So these people who were saying to me, I'd have more confidence. What does that confidence mean? And so I've looked up the definition of confidence to see what it actually means. So the Oxford definition is the feeling or belief that one can have faith in or rely on someone. Interesting that it doesn't say yourself. The Merriam-Webster definition is, it's a feeling or consciousness of one's powers or of reliance on one's circumstances. As a hypnotist, obviously I prefer that definition because it says that the meaning of confidence is a feeling or consciousness of one's powers. And if we look at the people who we perceive as being confident, people like Michelle Obama, Tony Robbins, the Rock, all these people seem to exude confidence, but they're just people like you and I. But they took a risk and they put themselves forward. And by taking that risk, they have teams to make sure that everything sails smoothly for them, that they don't make any mistakes. But that wouldn't have happened if they hadn't have done that first small thing and then gone on and done the second and then repeated it and got more and more confident, working towards their goals and their dreams. Another survey that I've done recently was I asked people, what would you get most in the last years of your life? Not having a go at something that you really wanted to do or having a go and failing. And the majority there said they'd regret not having a go at something that they really wanted to, to do. But yet when I've Asked them what they want to do and why they've not done it. They said they don't have the confidence. 
And so here we are. There's so much that we want to achieve. There are so many goals that we want to reach. There's so many places that we want to get to. But we hypnotize ourselves, tell ourselves that we can't do it, or that if we do, we'll be laughed at, or we'll be mocked, or we'll look stupid, or nobody's going to see us as being credible. Now, that is not the imposter monster. The imposter monster does not exist, and that's what I'm going to speak about next week. We hypnotize ourselves all our lives to believe that we can't do things to put the doubt in our mind, to second guess ourselves, to worry about what other people will think of us, how other people will see us, how we might have to see ourselves as we never really do. We're hypnotized by our, our environment, media, advertising, movies, books. Movies are all about a protagonist that has to overcome a great battle to achieve something. Imagine how dull movies would be if somebody just went, do you know what? I can do this. Step aside. Here I come. So we've hypnotized throughout our lives that we can't do things. But what if I told you that you can achieve anything that you want to achieve by just telling yourself that you can do it, working out what it is you want to do, and then working out how are you going to get there. And each small step thinking, I can do this. You can do it. In a moment, I'm going to give you this week's hit of hypnosis, which is, of course, instilling some confidence into you. So if you're driving, if you're at work or anywhere else where you need your full mental awareness, I invite you to stop this podcast now and come back and listen when you've got a chance to sit down and relax. So as I move on to that hit of hypnosis, I'd like to thank you so much for joining me for this very first episode. I know it's short and sweet. I think the episodes will get longer as I go along, but I just needed to make this first little step. Thanks again. You can check me out at helendickinson.com. And if you're a fellow hypnotist and hypnotherapist, I've got a course coming up on the 27th of February, which is Hypnosis for Menopause. You've got to be a qualified hypnotist to attend. Please check out my website. All the details are there. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next week. Welcome to a hit of hypnosis. I invite you to sit, relax, put your feet flat on the floor, uncross your arms, and just take a moment to be here, present, now. And when you're ready, you can close your eyes and be aware of the space that you're in. The sounds that you may hear outside of the room. The sounds that you may hear from this recording. All perfectly fine. Just be here. Now, where nobody needs anything from you. You don't have to be anywhere. And allow yourself these moments to concentrate on your breathing. Take some nice, deep breaths. And with each breath out... Just allow the muscles to relax, starting at the top of the head. Imagine you're having a beautiful head massage. All the muscles in your scalp relaxing and that drifting down through the rest of your body. All the tiny muscles around your eyes. Allow your eyelids to feel heavy. That's right. The muscles around your face and your jaw, all relaxing. Unclench your jaw and relaxing now on your shoulders, your chest, your arms, through your fingers. Every muscle, every fibre, letting go of any tension. Every breath you take, relaxing more and more. Through the stomach, the hips, the top of the legs, around the buttocks, all relaxing. Getting rid of the tension. Through your lower legs, right into your toes. That's right. And allow yourself 
So go that little bit deeper with each breath. Just knowing that nobody needs anything from you for these few moments. You don't have to be anywhere. This is your time. Time for you. I don't know if you're totally relaxed and hearing every word I use or maybe you may hear every other word. You may hear only every fifth word. But you can decide for yourself the words that you need to hear as you continue to relax deeper, drifting, floating, lazily dreaming, allowing those thoughts to drift in and out of your mind. And I want to tell you a short story about a man I've met by the name of Jordan. He's known as the Maverick Millionaire. He began his career early at the age of 14 by enlisting a helicopter for sale on the internet. It wasn't his helicopter. It was a helicopter for sale by a friend of his family. He simply took the initiative to list it on the internet and he managed to sell it. The family friend paid him a commission of two and a half thousand dollars and his accidental career as an internet aviation dealer was born. What's important about this story is that at age 14, he didn't have any experiences that told him that something couldn't be done. He never knew defeat because of these early successes. As a result, his dream circle never became smaller and smaller. Instead, it only became larger and larger. With each incremental success, his vision grew. His goals became larger. Within each one of us is a child that's unimpeded by question, failure or self-doubt. This child can dream big and grow larger with each success. As you reflect on this story, allow yourself to experience a deeper, deeper sense of relaxation and creativity. Feel the mind become open and return to a state of optimistic, impeded youth. Utilize the part of the mind where creativity exists to depart from the blocks of the adult world and to focus on the freedom that creativity brings. Imagine yourself creating a large dream circle where you're able to experience unlimited creativity, unlimited innovation and unlimited success. As you create this powerful imagery of yourself being successful and enlarge your dream circle, you can undoubtedly create reality from these internal strengths. At this very moment, all of the resources you need to set goals, reach objectives and experience success are deep within you. Draw on your pre-conscious hopes and dreams to create the sensation of success. It is amazing. It is a feeling that you have the capacity to create, which means you have the capacity to make this a reality. Each day, in every way, you will find yourself writing goals for both the short term and the long term. You will become a goal-setting machine that is capable of refining and creating innovative, positive and important objectives. It will be easy for you to do this because you are capable of tapping into the pre-conscious desire of youth to regain control and power in life. Despite any setbacks, despite any limitations, you may have experienced up to this point. It's a natural inclination to enlarge your dream circle. Ignore the self-limiting impositions that others thrust upon you and experience success at every level. Imagine 
create, innovate. With each word, allow yourself to dream, drift, float or rise to your inner strengths and experience the fullness of life within you. Imagine, create, innovate. You may be very alert now, concentrating on this powerful experience within your mind. Or perhaps you are leisurely experiencing trance and sensations of creation. Either way, you remain focused on your transition into a new chapter in life. This new chapter brings positive changes related to the creation of your goals. It's entirely possible for you to see the future as you will be able to when you create each goal. Envision yourself a month from now, a year from now, and even 10 years from now See yourself having acted on your dreams and goals. See yourself actively utilising a journal for your dreams, writing out goals on a daily basis and creating images of success. The first step in achievement is to have a goal and a clear picture of success. This is a step that you have already taken. We know that this is true because you have participated in this session and allowed yourself to open the creative part of your mind to new experiences and new lessons. As a reminder of this success, the colour green will become brighter, sharper, crisper and clearer. You'll notice it more on signs, clothing, in nature, on TV and in movies, every time you see the colour green, it will be an internal reminder of your ability to set goals, take action on these goals and achieve them. You can move from this point forward into success by dreaming large and accomplishing your goals. That's right. And in a moment, I'm going to count to five. On three, your eyes will open. On five, you can realign yourself to the here and the now. One, feeling wonderful. Two, knowing you have everything inside you to be what you want to be. Three, having the goals and chasing your dreams. Four, taking a deep breath in of oxygen. Five, exhaling. Feeling good, feeling great. You did brilliant. 